Hey kids, I hope you like our very first children's church. We call it Kids Church. I hope you're having a good time. And I wanted to come and talk to you a little bit about fear. Right now, when we hear about this coronavirus, sometimes it's easy to get scared, isn't it? But listen to me. You have no reason to be scared because God's going to protect you. And it's important that you keep away from fear. And in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, it says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. You know, God has not given you fear. There's no reason to be afraid. There's no reason to be afraid of the coronavirus or anything else that you might be afraid of. What you need to recognize is God is in you and he's giving you love. You know what that means? He loves you so much. You know, when you love someone, you don't want anything bad to happen. That's the way it is with God. He loves you so much, he doesn't want anything bad to happen to you. But also, he's given us power. You know what that means? You have the Holy Spirit in you that has the power to defeat every disease, every problem that you might face. And you have a sound mind, which means that God has given you peace and joy. But I remember when I was a kid, I used to be afraid of a lot of things. I used to have nightmares when I would go to sleep. How about you kids? Have you had nightmares when you go to sleep? I remember I would go to sleep like on a bed like this and, and I would be dreaming of monsters and scary things. And then when I'd wake up, I'd, I'd be so glad that it was just a dream. But before I would go to sleep, I would try to go to sleep and then a thought would come to me. There's someone in your room. But you know what? There was no one in my room, but I was afraid. So I'm looking around and then I would think I see someone, but it was just like a coat in the, in the closet, but I'd be afraid. And then a thought came to me, there's someone under your bed. And guess what I would do? I would look underneath the bed and I would, oh, I, I would look under the bed and guess what? Nothing was there. And then I would try to go back to sleep again. And then the thought came, there's someone hiding in your closet. I had to get up. And I had to slowly see if someone's in the closet. Ah! No, there's nobody in the closet. You know, kids, the devil works on our minds to make us be afraid. But I'm glad that now I know that when I go to sleep, God loves me. He cares about me and that I have power to overcome all that the enemy brings to me and I have a sound, peaceful mind. So now I quote the word of God. God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Kids, I encourage you, when you feel fear, don't give in to those fears. Start quoting the scriptures that you have not been given the spirit of fear. I hope you enjoyed this word.